social behavior is really complex. Let's talk about one model that brings it all together. The socio-ecological model is a way that we can integrate our understanding of social behavior to the environment and how they relate to each other. Let's look at this with a model. So here we have some trees. Let's imagine these are our resources in this environment. First, we have females. Females will situate themselves according to the resource distribution. They're going for optimal foraging. Females want to have babies. Well, in an evolutionary sense. Um, so they want to, they need to make sure they have enough food. But oh no, now we have a predator. And the presence of these predators can favor females grouping to form a larger group and sharing those resources. So we no longer have optimal foraging and we're encouraging the formation of a group based on this predator. Female social relationships are influenced by the abundance and distribution of resources, but also by predators in the environment. We might find um, different strategies depending on what type of resource we're talking about. With patchy resources, we might see cooperative defense of resources from other groups, and we would expect to have matrilineal groups with female dominance hierarchies. So there would be explicitly a dominance of females, and some will be at the top and some will be at the bottom, and the ones at the top will have access to more resources. But if resources are distributed differently, we have abundant resources, the group will exist due to predation, but there isn't really much to defend here. So we're not gonna expect those matrilineal groups with strong bonds. We're gonna find a more egalitarian society. But right now we've only talked about the females. Males do something different. Males will tend to situate themselves according to the female distribution. When we get to sexual selection, we'll talk a little bit about how females are primarily limited by food, but males are limited by females in how many children they can have. If the females are uh, distributed apart from each other, males will be uh, solitary, but tend to overlap their distribution with multiple females. Um, here we might find monogamy if they need to defend specific resources. So we have one male and one female in the same area. If males are able to monopolize females, we might see the formation of a harem. If males are unable to monopolize females, that's where we can find groups with polygenandry. Um, we will find a multi-level society in the middle. So there's a lot here at the socially eco ecological model. Can you explain it? 